Don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. And laugh at the teams who fell along the way. Everyone's new favourite team, IHC, might have taken a step too far into the crosshairs of FaZe Clan, but their run was the stuff of fairy tales. One of those brothers grim ones with a moral and a sad ending, but a fairy tale nonetheless. What has made IHC's story so special? Well, let's go back to the start and find out together. The first real glimpse we got of IHC's potential was way back in Rio when they cut down Zero Zero Nation in their home country. It's fair to say they became villains in Brazil in that moment, a title they've doubled down on. And tripled down on. We found out before Katowice that IHC wouldn't be at full strength. We've heard some poor excuses for missing a game in the past, but having a newborn kid is about as acceptable as it gets in fairness. Good luck with fatherhood, Cabal. Still, this meant the wonderfully named Bartak was filling in. His real name translates as Son of Hero Hard Steel. Amazing. Anyway, he was standing in and as such, hopes were pretty low. Oh, how wrong we were. Alright, a best of one spanking from Cloud9 didn't exactly make us question our original thoughts. Quick and dirty. But with elimination on the line, IHC turned it on in the play-in. Pain were washed away in two, with Annihilation and Score doing some special stuff. Annihilation, for what it's worth, picked up more clutches than anyone else in the play-in. But after knocking out a Brazilian team, they were sent to the big boss. Father Furia was here to avenge his son. Annihilation was quiet, but Score and Blitz picked up the slack as IHC hustled and bustled their way to a 30 round victory. While beating Pain was impressive, this really outlined what made IHC special. Nuke is a tough map and one that requires clean rotations and communication something teams from the Asian region have traditionally struggled with. Fioria are famous for being able to smush teams who are a little untidy and it requires real discipline or spectacular aim to vest them. IHC, it seemed, had both. The job wasn't yet done, however. Though Annihilation woke up, Bartak was still asleep. Mirage went to overtime, but IHC just didn't quite have the firepower required. Bart 4k? More like Bart 9k? Cause you got no it doesn't matter. That left us on Anubis, and Chaos Arata was angry. This would be a huge undertaking after Fury collected nine T side rounds. But IHC had just the man for the job. The clutch key. Annihilation dropped a 1v3 and a 1v2 at key moments to take the air out of Furia's sails, and IHC completely overran Furia. IHC won 10 of the 11 rounds in the second half and Furia wouldn't even make it to the group stage. This was already a huge achievement, but there was a twist in the tail yet, dear viewer. An impressive performance on Inferno came to naught, and Liquid swept through IHC on Overpass to push our protagonist down to the lower bracket. The comfort zone. This was a ridiculously stacked group though, and IHC would have to take down Cloud9. Now Cloud9 had looked unimpressive so far with Buster, but this was surely a step too far. IAC flew out of the blocks, and those who dared to dream were quickly knocked back as Cloud9 posted 9 CT rounds back to back. But as IAC closed out the half and the pistol, it came down to an annihilation clutch at 9-9. And you already know how that ends. Axile tucked in, annihilation, hounding him down. It's a close angle, oh! but the no scope lands, and annihilation! With that kill, with the 1v1 going his way, puts IHC up in the lead, a big hat-trick round. IHC were going blow for blow with one of the best teams in the world, and the unlikeliest hero, or indeed son of hero, stepped up to bat and knocked it out of the park. Cloud9 hit 14 first, but the infallible will of IHC was too much, and the map on which they'd impressed against Liquid, IHC had won over Cloud9. The A play, oh God. initially denied by Bartak down in the pit. He's going to duck in, Blitz oh. with a swing, and Score takes this one home. It's Buster, the new boy for Cloud9. Wow. Giant up, IHC pick up their map in this series. And that was with Axile going out. If you're going to trade blows to the best, you have to sometimes slap your uh, rifle on the table and let them see how big it is. Blitz waltzed out of CT and ripped Cloud9 a new bullet hole. Shiro was having none of it though, 
you don't get through this team that easily. He was joined by Axile, the Twin Fangs bit down and Cloud9 was starting to come alive. But IHC weren't dead yet and they were throwing Haymakers back. Cloud9 might have smacked IHC around at the start of this video, but now it was a lot closer. Blitz and Techno were finding helmets and before you knew it, IHC were on 15, with 3 match points. It's never that easy though, Cloud9 immediately hit back with 2 rounds of their own and it came down to round 30. IHC wormed their way into a post plant and we can only imagine what the heart rates were like at this moment. Especially for poor Bartak who at 18 and as a 6th man had never been in a position anything like this. Those nerves showed as he was picked off and Techno was left stranded at bench. We'll let Harry take it from here. He's got to do this all alone, the young gun of IHC oh! and he takes it over the line! IHC had done it, Cloud9 was slain and IHC lived to die another day. They were rewarded with a game against FaZe Clan, so it really was a chance to die another day. Like massage parlours, the best fairy tales don't have happy endings. IHC once more put in their customary impressive Inferno performance, but they were slapped by FaZe Clan on Ancient and would sadly become a victim of the group of death. They might not have qualified for the Spodek. They might not have beaten FaZe Clan. They might not have done everything they dreamt of. But holy shit did they put on one hell of a show and capture the hearts of every single one of us who watched, and almost certainly inspired a whole new generation of Mongolians. We can't wait to see IHC again. Maybe this is just the beginning. <laughs>